All right, gamers, we're back with more Mario RPG Masters. The game is trying to master bait you into a challenge, which is... I, I, I've already made that joke, like, so many times, and it's still equally stupid every time I make it. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of weird seeing level 33 <laughs> on a file. And yes, I went back to look at my Mario RPG footage. Uh, Armageddon, I mean. And yes, the level cap in that game is 100, so... This game going up to 60 is just kind of like baby numbers in comparison, really. So, yeah. I'm gonna stand on everybody's heads. <laughs> Hello, chat member. Okay, so I was looking at my footage, and honestly, the Axum Rangers fight was way... It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> It was, um... Oh, I have to... Alright, you have to look at the statue. <laughs> not get... not talk to Garo. I keep forgetting. <laughs> By the way, the Axum Ranger fight took me, like, an hour. <laughs> which is kind of crazy. I didn't expect it to take me that long. Which explains why the Mario RPG Armageddon playthrough takes so long. Because, <laughs> like... I think it was like 11 parts, and I didn't do much of the post game because I kind of just gave up. But again, Dark Kefka and all the other devs, they said I should have um, like gotten some better equipment or something, but I didn't know where to get the equipment from. It's just that apparently I should have done that. But once we come around to like November or something, It'll been three years since I did Armageddon for the first time. And maybe when I'm done with Mario and Luigi Brothership, I can um, maybe do another playthrough of Armageddon, but this time I'm going to do it on the latest version because they've added some things, apparently. And going back to look at the footage for Armageddon, I'm just, uh, like, honestly amazed at how amazing that game was. <laughs> like, that hack had so much, like, detail and effort put into it. And I like how I'm just, like, praising a ROM hack that I'm not even playing <laughs> while playing a different ROM hack. I mean, this one does have some cool ideas, though, so... It's not that this isn't a bad one. It's just I think I kind of I kind of peaked at um, Armageddon in terms of like how much brand new shit there is and like how over the top the animations are in that, and the, just the extra gameplay additions. So yeah, man, I'm really glad I can just hold the right trigger and just have it um, skip through all the dialogue because that is, that is very useful. Also, um, shoutouts to the the uh, remake for changing this dialogue and making it say like uh, something about like a, like a brother, like a younger brother's problem or whatever it was. It, like it, it focused more on like Luigi or something. It's something like that. I might have to um, use the bathroom. <laughs> Fat guy just uploaded Remember the Black Pit. Let me guess, it's the thumbnail, um, the t that new TTYD mod. No. I don't know what he's doing with, with, um, Black Pit. Although Black Pit does remind me of that new JDA Sir mod that's coming out for TTYD, and I am going to be playing that the day it comes out, probably. Hopefully it doesn't come out on a Friday, otherwise I'm going to be kind of fucked. But we'll see. <laughs> Alright, we gotta, we gotta do the Funi... The Funi Dodo minigame. Oh, the Gourmet Guy fight. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I didn't really watch those videos. I wasn't that interested. Because I'm busy working on my own Mario RPG ROM hack, and I don't want to feel discouraged. Or not Mario RPG, a Paper Mario. I don't want to feel discouraged from my own Paper Mario hack, because I'm a noob. 
And if I look at like all these like super amazing hacks, I'm just gonna feel discouraged. I'm gonna be like, no, I don't want to work this on this anymore. I do not want to feel discouraged on my hack because it's my first Paper Mario hack. So obviously it's gonna be shit, but I want to work on it like as hard as I can. It's gonna have my own little personal flavor to it. This minigame isn't really that bad, since you only have to jump, like, four times. And I wonder if the feather's still gonna be broken. <laughs> we'll see. Feather... You can get two feathers in the remake, if I'm not mistaken. The feather is... Oh my god! 50 speed. Well, shit, I don't know who to, who to give that to. But, 50 speed is definitely, um... It's definitely nothing to scoff at. I mean, look at my speed right now. I'd be going up to 80. He's zooming. If I start getting, like, all, like, hot and, like, bitchy, I might have to go to the bathroom and wet my shirt. <laughs> But hopefully I don't have to. <laughs> oh no! I mean, I've, I've already, I've also already talked about um, the Super Luigi RPG ROM hack that came out kind of recently. And that one, I am also really excited to play. Like, I've just been on, like, a Mario RPG streak recently. Also, I really love how the music doesn't change in the castle. <laughs> I don't know why I love it when hacks do that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I even I did that in my, in my own hacks. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Where's Galaxy Blast at? There it is. I mean, I did have a battle theme in my, um, my hack. Like, the regular battle theme is just kind of, it's just kind of there, I guess. These guys would be so much more annoying to kill without Galaxy Blast, though. Like, I don't know. 69! 69 again. Let's go. Alright, you know what? Shock Storm. Let's see how much this does. Still does decent damage, honestly. <laughs> Almost does as much as the Galaxy Blast itself. You know, this is the song that taught me what a harpsichord is. <laughs> And if you guys don't know what a harpsichord is, it's a uh, type of piano. It's a very, um, very loud sounding piano. And it's, it's the, it's the kind of instrument that's always associated with, like, villains and, like, beautiful people and rich people and stuff like that. <laughs> I'll take that flower. We're gonna fight this blue bird. I am really bad at blocking that, by the way. Uh oh. Is Mario dead? No, he's immune to ice, right. <laughs> I think like two out of three of our party members are immune to ice. Oh, Mallow's not immune to ice. Fug. I might have to run away. Because I did not heal. Especially these guys, these guys are going to take forever to do their damn animations. No, no, I don't need to run away. I'll be fine. Especially if I get a freebie. <laughs> now I kind of wish I had Fire Blast, actually. That would be nice. So I don't have an AoE Fire move. There we go, I blocked it that time.
Oh my god. The monster is mute. Good. Good, as they should be. <laughs> okay, well, we might have to heal again. <laughs> okay, definitely, definitely heal. So, gl so glad that Star Friend is actually a full heal now. Even though it is like a 10 to 15 second animation every time, it never gets old. Come on. How could you say that? The monster is mute. Good, as they should be. <laughs> They're all gonna just be mute. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, how much does Shock Storm do? I'm curious. These guys are very magically built, so probably not much. Oh, it did 266, actually. That's not bad. But these guys are immune to ice, so you don't want to use ice on them. Yeah, those guys are kind of annoying. Do get a lot of moon and experience, though. Alright, uh, I'm gonna ignore the shaman for now. Unless I run into one of them, which, you know, if I do, that's that's fine, I'll fight them. Bro, I didn't mean to fight you and your ass. Oh yeah, so guess what, guys? Uh, Nathaniel Bandy uploaded another good video today. <laughs> that kind of that breaks his uh, bad video streak. <laughs> Because I, I I love like the funny thing is is it's not even like a high effort video. It's just he's bit he's just him bitching about how bad the NSO is for like twelve minutes, which I agree. NSO is bad, <laughs> and so that's probably why it's a good video because I agree with uh, all the problems with NSO. <laughs> I then only do 370. Mal oh, because Mala has the magic boost, that's why. Oh, that explains why he did so much damage with the Thunderbolt, because he starts the battle with a magic boost. Okay, never mind, I'm dumb. Alright, we might have to kill all the enemies in this room. <laughs> Fire! Well, actually, of anything, shouldn't I use uh, Snowman then with Mar with Mallow? Wouldn't this do like hundreds of damage? Eight hundred forty. Yeah, just casually doing eight hundred forty damage. No big deal. <laughs> Who needs health anyway? Bro, those guys probably have like 1100 health or something. Alright, let's kill Joffle, because he's in the way. You kind of have to kill him to, um, you know, get that hidden block there. Oh no, I'm a Scarecrow now. You know what? Yeah, we'll do Icy Snowman again. I think the Shamans are immune to ice, though. Or at the very least, resistant. Never mind. Oh, they heal? Oh, great. You're gonna be annoying now? Oh, fuck, I wasn't ready for that. And you still get a turn? Wait, do they, they counter with regenerate then, don't they? Blizzard Storm. Some long battles. Alright, do group hug. Peach is our healer, after all. Alright, do ice blast then. <laughs> and now for some melee attacks. Keep keep doing icy snowman. It's just called snowy in the original, but icy snowman, you know, why not? He just changed all the attack names because he could. So, do they heal when you attack them with a magic attack, then? 
Because I know in the original, the, um... The shaman have a small chance of running away when, um, you hit them with a magic attack. But it seems in this version, when they're hit with magic, they just count- they just, um, retaliate by healing, which is really annoying. <laughs> so I should just spam Ice Blast or Galaxy Blast instead. Okay, at least they're dead. I think probably, though, today we are just gonna, you know, do the entirety of the Nimbus Land arc, including Barrel Volcano. Because that's fun. There's that frog coin. We talked to this guy. I love how, canonically, Valentina just didn't think to confiscate this guy's keys. Nimbus Vest. Oh, I got one of those for free. Okay, um, I got one of those for free. I, I mean, I don't really need the Nimbus Vest, but sure, I'll take it, I guess. I'd rather not fight the Shaman. Fuck, I guess we are anyways. Well, if we do this, we can kill the Orbison immediately. Or not. Wait, I poisoned him. He took 86 damage from poison. That's interesting. Okay, I guess the Orbison's a lot more tankier than I thought. He also takes poison damage. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can inflict poison. It's kind of cool. There we go. You know, honestly, I wouldn't mind more Nathaniel Bandy videos where he just bitches about stuff, because those are actually entertaining to watch. I mean, as someone, as someone who got banned on Switch, <laughs> I'm just kind of in a hate relationship with Nintendo right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll do Icy Snowman. And so I can, I can bitch about NSO all I want. <laughs> I think it would have been better to just use Galaxy Blast. <laughs> yeah, I'm banned on Switch, if you didn't know. <laughs> And so, um, my, my Switch is, uh, well, if anything, it, it's, it's, I, I've considered getting banned a good thing, though. Just because I've been able to, um, play more games. Uh, let's just say I modded my Switch a little too much. <laughs> and I got banned for it. But again, uh... I'm able to play more games now because I'm on Switch. Oh, oh, hold on. I gotta get rid of these bots. <laughs> Best viewers. I'll have to remember that later to, to block that keyword. <laughs> I caught it that time. I'll actually um just keep it on screen so I can see... Yeah, because I've, I've, um, I've, like, perfectly calculated how to block all the bots, but they're finding new ways to get past my sensors. <laughs> so, I, I have to add that to my list of keywords to block now. Also, I have a flower tab still, right? Yes, sir. There you go. According to according to my Twitch, it says I've blocked 130 bots. <laughs> so imagine how bad it would be if I didn't do that. 130 bots in like my I don't know two or three years of streaming. Four years actually. 
Alright, how much health does Shelly have? 3,000. Okay. I mean, unless Shelly can attack, this is gonna be pretty easy. Also, I love the, uh, the trail effects on the, on the, fr on the, like, rivet stick. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep attacking the shell. I think this is the first time I've used physical attacks this episode. Or in a while. Actually, here's a question. Can I use the Actually, you know what? Yeah, we could use um let's use a power all. Use a galaxy blast. Because the Burrow fight is either really piss easy or really dumb shit hard. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Sixty-nine damage. Damn. Okay. Five thousand. All right. She's already doing the giant egg, or what, what do you call it? <laughs> the egg attacks are pretty funny, though. <laughs> um, let's see how much Smite does. 322, okay. I think it's fire if I use a group hug. Why'd I say it like that? Bow. <laughs> jump. This. So jump is still like okay. <laughs> so this dialogue isn't very relevant anymore because she already starts off doing both of her attacks. Well, I mean, yes, technically Smithy does have 8,000 health. If you combine the body, it's 9,000. Oh, the body doesn't really count. We'll see how much Ice Blast does. I don't know, maybe Birdo's weak to ice. Maybe she's weak to fire, I don't know. She's immune to fire. What fucking sense does that make? Ooh, that was good. I mean, I could do a defense up, but I don't really see the point, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's do a super jump then. Honestly, I gotta say, I've gotten way better at the, um, the super jump in the SNES version. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of doubting, I'm kind of doubting I'm gonna get, uh, the attack scarf. I did it, get it in the remake, but yeah. Wait, was it 30? I wasn't counting. Well, and also, it doesn't count 
if I remember correctly, it doesn't count the first jump that you do, so it might have been 29. <laughs> I'll go check, I'll go check actually then after I'm done with this. So super jump is, is the way to go. It does a lot of damage. You usually get capped at 15 or so, though. Because 15 is when the frames start, like, loosening up to, like, um, what's it called? When it, like, like a three-frame input? I'll go see what my high score is. I kind of want to know. To be fair, I did use the super jump a little bit more in the remake, so I did have more opportunities to get to, um, 30 jumps. I think my high score in the remake is, like, 60 or 70, which is pretty good, actually. dropped it. That was it. That was the whole boss. <laughs> I gotta love Smithy's Magnum. Oh, yeah, I got a gold shroom for that. Alright, thanks for the key. The, ca the elusive castle key, too. Also, I need to spend my money on something. You know what I forgot to do? Well, first of all, I forgot to fight these guys. Gas press. Also, why is Cody here? <laughs> what what Cody doing? Jesus Christ, this is annoying. Why yeah, why is Cody here? <laughs> it's really random. We need to heal that. These damn pinwheels, bro. Um... I almost never use Bowser, and... Gino, I'm just... I I wanna- I wanna use, um, a different party mostly, because I always use Peach and Gino in, like, most of my playthroughs. So I thought I could switch it up a little bit by having Mallow instead of Gino. And plus, Mallow has some pretty damn good AoE moves. Because here's the thing, right? Normally, by now, you'd have, like, some really good... You'd really you'd have, like, Gino Flash by now. But in this version, I think I only have Gino Blast. I don't know. I just... Like, I like having Mallow because I can scan enemy HP. <laughs> like, if I'm playing casually, I'll use, you know, Peach and Geno, but since this is a ROM hack and I, I want to know how much health... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I want to know how much health all the bosses have, so I pretty much just always have Mallow <laughs> out. And plus, having two healers is better than one. And also, um, Mallow's... Magic is pretty much on par with Geno's anyway. The only thing Mallow can do that Geno, or the only thing that Geno can do that Mallow can't, is buff. Oh, okay. You can explode apparently. Geno can buff, but I have um I have power alls for that reason anyways. So, oh, speaking of which, Mallow learns Cosmic Star, which is his final spell normally. Fuck. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, and Peach is dead. We need to get out of here, bro. <laughs> I want. I need to get out of here, bro. I only have. I have no health left. Fuck. Oh, this is bad. I don't even know what element that is.
Yeah, that can't be good. Alright, I need to get out of here. Let me run, please. Let me run, game. <laughs> get me out of here, bro. I need to go heal. See, that's the reason I usually buy the Sia. <laughs> so I can just get away from battles. Wrong place. I mean, should I buy some stuff? There's not really a lot I need to buy. I guess I can stock up on a few 1-ups again. Maybe, um, a Shroom Rain? I don't know. Nullify all status effects. Now I have too much money. <laughs> yeah, Migraine is a great attack. Well, hey, second try. Se maybe second try we can get the two uh, red essences from Toad. Nope. Close, though. <laughs> Pretty sure the Shy Guys have Doom Reverb normally. The fans don't have Migraine, though. The only enemy that has Migraine is the fucking Pulsar and Star Hill. I think. It's weird, because there's two different attacks that do literally the same thing. There's Migraine, and then there's Psyche. They both do the literally exact same thing. And they're also on, like, the same type of enemy. It's really strange. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I, my high score is. Let's see. My record is 29. Yep, I, I called it. It was 29. So I was one jump off. See, I remember, I do remember that correctly. <laughs> that the uh, first jump doesn't count. So, technically, you can get 101 jumps. Anyways, I'm probably gonna go to the shop and get some more frog coins. Well, by, the, by, go by getting more frog coins, I mean, I'm gonna go to the frog coin shop and buy more power alls. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I need some power alls. There we go. Also, I might I might consider getting fire blast. And I know exactly how to do that. Because the creator forgot to remove this feature from the game. <laughs> so we're gonna go to this little Moleville house here and we're gonna grind up for one. So yeah, the gold shrooms are worth a lot. Uh, I'll sell f just three of them. You have 90 points now, wow. Easy, huh? Um, I'll sell Moon Serenade as well. Alright, and I'm gonna take the Fire Bomb, which is actually the Fire Blast. And that's probably the last time we're gonna come here. So now I can do Fire Elemental damage to all enemies as well. Which is good. The Fire Blast isn't as strong as the Ice Blast, but... Being able to do Fire Elemental damage might come in handy, you never know. Although, definitely not for Barrel Volcano. <laughs> Certainly not. Also, you know what? While we're here, let's buy let's buy some fireworks. We gotta buy more fireworks later. Might as well do this. I'm obviously not gonna fight. Um, I'm definitely not fighting um, <laughs> Qlex right now, though. Alright, Lucky Jewel. That's useless. Mystery Egg. Wait, he, he increased the prices for the, the random items. Oh, he doesn't get the frying pan until after Valentina? 
I think that's how that works. Also, you sell cargo cookies. We'll have to wait on that then. But I have lots of money. Anyways, we're gonna do a few other things before we finish up Valentina's. We're gonna go back to Boosters. And we're going to, uh, we're gonna do the whole knife guy thing real quick. Um, yeah, what am I going to do with all these one-ups, bro? I don't know, but I have them. Thankfully, I don't have to go all the way to the top. You have to go up halfway. This is why I'm glad in the remake you can just warp straight to Knife Guy, <laughs> which is really nice. You know, I kind of wonder if he gives better, um, items. Ivy Shroom. He does. He does get better items. Oh, I'm just getting a crap ton of Ivy Shrooms. <laughs> I don't know. So they replaced the Wilt Shroom with Ivy Shroom, that's what happened there. We're gonna be getting a lot of these. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start running out of space, bro. <laughs> Star Caracola. Okay, that's... I mean, that's good. I don't need it. I'm gonna probably sell that later. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for all the Star Caracolas, I guess. you have to do it in a row, right? Lime Shroom. That's just, that's just 120 HP. I don't need that. Hmm. Okay, more Star Caracolas. Um, man. I don't need this many ivy shrooms. I forget how many times you have to do this. I don't need more Star Caracolas, bro. <laughs> I don't need them anymore. One ups. Don't need that. He's, he, get, he gets really fast. Okay, there we go. We got the Bright card. Which we can get rid of, um. We can get rid of, a. Uh, Ivy Shroom for that. Okay, so that's all I wanted to come here for, so I can get the do the Bright card. Or Great Guy. And no, I'm not going to do all of Great Guy's fucking minigame on screen. Because, uh, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> But I will at least unlock it. Dirt, 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 dirt. Um, here's the funny blackjack that got removed from the remake. And strangely, the slots got to stay in. Because apparently slots are okay, but blackjack isn't. Makes sense, right? 
Here's the thing, I don't know if he's even gonna give anything good. That's why I'm not that's why I'm not gonna do it on screen, because he probably just gives you another star egg, which I already have, so it's kinda pointless. Unless he unless they made it so that he gives like a really fucking good piece of armor. Which is why I might do that off screen. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the game is balanced around having, um... Around having the lazy shell. Alright, now I guess all those star caracolas that I got. Because I don't know what else to do with them. I love how, um, I love how Luke is still on that Paper Mario 64 grind. <laughs> Like, he's, uh, he's still trying to get a sub-5 hour after all this time. Because he really, really wants to do another run back. Which, uh, you know, good on him for practicing so much. Mm. Mm. I think that's all my tea, pretty much. Mm. Dang. I could honestly go for another cup of tea, but... I don't know, they say too much tea can, like increase your heart rate or something weird. And it's bad enough I drink an entire thermos full of tea a day. Sometimes too, if I'm having, um... I'm having, like, tea before I go to bed. Anyways, I got reminded of how yesterday, um... You'll never guess you started uploading Let's Plays again. <laughs> Tyra Conroy is doing a new Let's Play of the, uh, the Xenoblade 1 Definitive Edition D uh, DLC. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool. I mean, even though I, I don't play Xenoblade... yet... <laughs> it's still pretty cool to see him do a new Let's Play, just in general. Especially because someday I do plan to... Probably, I do, I do want to still play Xenoblade someday. Mario learns Galaxy Jump. That better be good, because I, I waited until now to get it. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna probably we're gonna have a um We're gonna have a save point coming up here. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. These guys look pretty aggressive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it, honestly. Miss! I'm not sure what gas press is, but it's pretty nasty, apparently. And apparently it makes makes me mute. Even though I'm still able to use moves, it's weird. Come here, 127, that's like fuck all for damage. Come on, you gotta kill them, bro. Oh! Why do you have regenerate? I'm so sick of that move, bro. <laughs> you also have gas press. Every every oops, all gas press. Everybody has that move now because that's just a cool thing, the cool hip thing to have that move. Make this fight take longer because now we have reduced attack power. Fuck, we need a group hug this shit. The game's just kind of become like, how many galaxy blasts will these enemies take? <laughs> I mean, these guys are- these fuckers are dead. You have to be close to dead, bro. Bruh? How are you not dead yet? There we go. No. I don't need more money, bro. I'm good. It's possible to slip in between this guy. Well, not today. It's not one of those days, I guess. Not a problem. Mallow being, Mallow, Mallow being susceptible to Scarecrow is not a big deal. 
because I can just do this and do more damage than if I... Yeah. Also, I think Peach is dead. <laughs> because I forgot to heal her. And these asshats keep healing every time. No! Oh my god, the rare shaman attack! Where they use the fucking rod. <laughs> One of the rarest animations in the game, next to, like, the... The Terrapins using their, like, swords. You know, I should make a- I should make in a, a ranking. <laughs> I should make a little video talking about, like, the rarest attack animations in my RPG, ranked by how often you're gonna see them. And at the bottom of the list will be, like, I don't know, the Goomba or something. Actually, no, the Goomba Needle should be pretty, like, high up. You know, I, I kind of want to write that down, honestly. <laughs> Thing is, I have to get, I'd have to get footage of all the attacks, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Mario RPG attack animation ranking. Depending on how likely you are to see it. I should probably write that- I should probably write that in my pinned notes and not my normal notes, but whatever. I have a lot of video ideas that I've just never finished. Okay, good. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Why did Mallow die? What the fuck? Why did he just randomly take 300 damage? That is so random. That just- that's happened, like, plenty of times throughout this game. Like, randomly? Like, enemies will just- like, a, like they- there's no animation, no sound. It's just- you take damage for the fuck of it. I don't know why. Anyways, here's the save point that I was thinking of or coming up on. Oh yeah, so another good thing is we're finally finished with Paper Jam, pretty much. Which means, um, you know, I'm basically ready for Mario and Luigi Brothership whenever that game comes out. I actually did stay up last night, uh, grinding in that game some more, and I finally got every single battle card in the game. It took me a while, so I can safely say that I've 100%ed Paper Jam, with the exception of, uh, getting the last two expert challenges and being the battle ring. Well, that is the point of the last two expert challenges, is to beat the battle ring. So that's literally all I have left to do in the game. And then I'm 100% of the game. I don't think I've ever 100%ed a Mario and Luigi game before. I mean, the closest I've gotten to that is probably, like, Superstar Saga. So it's kind of funny how the two... Actually, no, I 100% Dream Team as well. Because I got all the expert challenges in my Dream Team save file on my 3DS. Also, there's more enemies in this room now? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why are there more enemies in here now? I mean, more experience, I guess. Okay. Actually, this is good, because I can die pretty quickly still. Well, not if you use Blizzard Storm. I don't want your Activision Blizzard, bro. Go away. Bam, bam, bam. This is kind of the problem with having, um... This is kind of the problem with being immune to everything, is now I can't really die that easy. Oh my god, okay. I need you guys to attack me. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can do that. Wait, he counters every time you attack him. <laughs> 
Oh. Ice bird. More tri-crystal. Why is it always on Mallow, specifically? I mean, I won't complain. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna speed through this. Especially because I can't die? Well, I mean, I'm trying to die. There we go. Thing is, I have to navigate through this every time I want to fight these guys. Er Fuck me, dude. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That'll make it easier to die, I guess. Oh, I actually killed them all that time. Bow Bowser learns Apex Spire? <laughs> what the hell is that? How close are we to a level up anyway? I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna do that one more time. The one damage killed. There we go. Artificially add more enemies. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, this is a weird loadout, isn't it? We have a we have a fat Koopa. And um a Cody in there. There we go. Yeah, this is not really the best spot for grinding. But I am glad we're, um, getting a few level ups before Valentina. I think we'll probably kill her by, like, the hour mark or so. There's the funny Mario sprite. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see that in the remake, strangely. Not sure why they did that. Alright, so let's, um... Let's go to Monster Town and sleep. Because I need to heal. Alright, I just wanted to skip that dialogue. But yes, I am continuing to work on my Paper Mario 64 ROM hack. It's, um, I'm half done Chapter 2. Well, it's like we're like a third done in Chapter 2, because I'm done... I'm pretty much finished with, um, uh, Mount Rugged. But I need to... I need to finish up the buzzer fight, because I'm making that fight harder. Oh, Queen Valentina. Oh, Bombette. We're gonna have the foodie big boob lady. Hello! Mario's about to throw hands. <laughs> also, I realize I have Peach in the middle, which might not be good, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> She can infinitely heal herself, though, so that's good. Oh. <laughs> well, that's something. I could probably live. If I just keep spamming Galaxy Blast... Oh, yeah, that was it. That was the whole fight. Okay, so we're gonna wait for, um, Peach to come back before we use a Power Roll. Or we can use the Galaxy Breeze, because that buffs everything and heals. And if I remember correctly, she's immune to all, to all elements, so not worth using those. 
Oh my, oh my goodness, guys. He has, she has 7,500 health. <laughs> she almost has as much health as, uh, fucking Smithy does. Actually, what I should be doing is I should be doing a super jump. Actually, you know what? We'll see what Galaxy Jump does. Um, 374. I did, like, fuck all. <laughs> I think Super Jump's still just way better. Sleepy time? Just for the fuck of it? Well, it did damage, at least. Get over here. Alright, now we can... Now we can star breeze. There. There we go. I think, honestly, Galaxy Blast would be better here, then. Do a nice, uh, 382 to everybody. Oh, well, no, I can't do Super Jump even if I wanted to. Oh, of course she has Gas Press, the new favorite move of everybody. Do I have something that cures statuses? I don't think I do. I'm gonna use, an, I'm gonna use my Ivy Shroom. Because why the hell not? Oh, well, her, uh, her mute wore off, so... There you go. Just keep doing Galaxy Blast. Wow, that really did nothing, didn't it? Yeah, this is going pretty good, honestly. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, the multi-strike attack is based on how fast their animation is. So if they have a really fast animation, <laughs> it can actually really throw you off. <laughs> Hypnosis. Oh, that's just, that's just light bubble. Oh, no! You know, maybe I should do a little hypnosis of my own. There, my Mario's back awake. Eh, I think we could probably use a star egg, then. Give something for Peach to do on her turn. Yep. Hmm, kind of dropped it. Oh no. Well, I'm muted now. There's Ionizer. Ooh, wrong move. Did she get her defense back or something? I don't know how much health uh, Dodo has, but it's gotta be less than Valentina, obviously. Everybody's favorite move, the gas press. Oh, 
Well, at least he's not muted anymore. Okay, free turn, basically. Yeah, he. Uh, I, ha I was about to say, he has to be, like, done now. Let's see if Fire Blast does no damage. Oh, it actually did something. It's not good, though. I dropped it, I dropped it, I, I actually felt that. <laughs> I felt that one. See, that's the thing, if I wanted to be a Mar RPG speedrunner, I'd have to get really good at that super jump timing, because you have to learn how to get a hundred presses every time. Which is, um, yeah, that's not good. Also, I don't know why I did that. You know, sure, Mallow can use a heal, I guess. Does like nothing now. Is she immune to thunder? No, she's not. So that's good. We're gonna need the star egg soon. Okay, she's dead. <laughs> Boob jiggle on out of here. And you get also a crap ton of coins. That's how much coins you get in the original. Actually, you usually get 200. Alright. 100 magic attack on Mario. Nice. I love how Mario just get- or I love how Mallow just gets fucked up by that key. And then he eats the key. Because it's a very delicious key. It's full of cinnamon and- and biscuits and chocolate chips. Craving some chocolate chocolate chip. Hmm, I just thought of something. What's the, um, what's the flower jar, the other flower jar, gonna be replaced by? <laughs> because, you know, normally you get two flower jars from that same guard. Actually, no. The guard gives you the key, and then he gives you a flower jar after. And, um, yeah, he might, he, what if he gives you another Nimbus vest? That would be really funny, actually. Also, I don't know why, but I always felt that, like, Mario's sprite is just really skinny compared to his actual artwork, because in his artwork and the remake, he's very fat-looking, because he's all chibi and shit. So Mario ends up looking really fat compared to um, his sprite in this game. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. This is kind of, it's just kind of a, pre a preference, but I kind of like the skinny Mario sprite. <laughs> I don't know, it's not just me, right? He looks very skinny compared to his, uh... To his usual, like... Like, model? I don't know. We're gonna get a second the Nimbus vest? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny.
Oh, okay, it gave me a flower tab instead of a jar. Or actually, it's a flower vase. <laughs> My bad. Oh yeah, right. Um, missable, missable hidden block here, which for some reason only spawns after you beat Valentina. That fucking shit never made sense to me. Also, I forgot to go over here and get that flower as well. That flower I always forget about. So, there we go. And also, we can get one of the most uh, useless accessories once you know um, where everything is. I do find it kind of cool that they replaced this um, with the signal, like, what was it? It's something, something ring or something signal. Does it even increase my stats? No, it doesn't. All stats, 5. By, by this point, everything gives me plus 5, so it's honestly not that special. Alright, got the fertilizer, so now we can go get the lazy shell. Let's go. And you know what? Let's see if I can get the dream I want. Nope, I got the fucking salt and pepper dream instead. God damn it. The salt and pepper dream. I see that one so much. Also, I think you get like special dialogue if you talk to him. He's just like, you smell like pepper. That's odd. It smells like pepper in here. <laughs> yeah, that's some that's some uh, rare dialogue, actually. So I don't think anybody thinks to talk to the guy after you wake up. So that's some um, some unique dialogue there. That I think I think I saw that as a kid, but I don't usually see it much now because you have to get that very specific dream. So what did I want to do again? Oh yeah, the lazy shell. That's right. That's not where the lazy shell is. This is where the lazy shell is. The only reason to ever come over here. Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna speed through this. There we go. Yeah, we've seen we've seen uh we've seen this stuff a million times anyway. They had to have nerfed the lazy shell somehow. There's no way it's gonna be this broken. Oh, uh, also some of the beanstalk glitched out. <laughs> All right, giga shell. That's um. That's a weapon. Inflicts fear and attack boost. Ooh. It does lower my other stats by 7, but... I don't care. And... The star gear. So not the lazy shell at all. Uh, defense 50, magic defense 50, nulls all effect and element damage. Oh. Null Stunder and Jump Damage. Could just give that to Mallow, then. Yeah, there you go. Also, you think maybe we should put something else on, um, on Peach? Because this says Prevents Effects. Maybe the Nimbus Vest instead. Or the chain armor. Yeah, sure, I can put on the chain armor. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> yeah, the Star Gear is obviously really OP, though. Yeah, Null's all element damage. Hmm. This does give me plus 5 attack, though. Or plus 5 magic attack. Which, I mean, could be good. You know what? Fuck it. 
Because if I'm immune, if I'm immune to all elemental damage, being weak to ice doesn't even matter. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Yeah, I don't know why the beanstalk glitched out, but it's not a big deal. At some point, I do want to go buy some stuff from, uh, the, um, what's, what you call it? The Frog in Seaside Town. We're gonna, we're gonna do some frog coin grinding again. I mean, I don't know how many I want exactly. Because I only have 11 frog coins. That's kind of a problem. Boing, boing. I got somehow that was even slower. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ten eighty. I'm getting slower somehow. That was pretty good, though. 10, 11, wow. I've never done it that fast in a while. Okay, let's do it like... I don't know how many frog coins I want. Oh, okay. I got greedy. Whoops, I got greedy again. I got greedy again. Yeah, not get greedy too often. Or don't or don't be greedy at all. Fuck, man. Okay, fine. I'll do this one more time then. So I, I really need to leave the, I really need to leave Land's End. <laughs> I think I just got one frog coin. So is there anything I can buy in Seaside Town anyways? Also, the Sniffits, the, the Beatles Russ is there, too. That's actually how I grinded for Galaxy Coins in, um, in, uh, Armageddon. <laughs> that was actually the best way to grind in that game, as far as I know. So, we have the Jump Charm. Which is pretty tempting to save up for. All stats 3, double earned XP. So, I mean, honestly, I kind of want to save up for the jump charm. Use jump on any foe. Well, honestly, I don't even know if that's good at this point, because I have the magic scarf. And the magic scarf's way better. Yeah. No all ma all, no all elemental damage. Hmm. And becoming the element of jump is kind of funny. I don't even know what that means. But being able to jump on any enemy is also pretty nice, even if it is kind of mid by this point in the game. I just don't really have a lot to spend my frog coins on, so I'm just gonna go to Barrel Volcano. If it turns out like I really need it, then sure. Wait, you know what? I need to buy the frying pan first. I think you can buy it now. It's either before Barrel Volcano or after Barrel Volcano. 
We're gonna we're gonna fact check that by the by looking at the game itself. He okay, so he, he does get it after. Also, I did not mean to do that again. So you get the frying pan after barrel volcano then. No. Now, if I remember correctly, the, um, the lamb's lore, it does not kill enemies. You don't get experience from it. Which makes it kind of useless. <laughs> it's it's kind of useful in, um, Bowser's Keep. But that's about it, honestly. That's the one time where I can say the, like, the lamb's lore, or sheep attack, is useful. Sheep attack is useful in Bowser's Keep for the enemy gauntlets when you don't feel like fighting them. And that's about it. <laughs> it's the only time it's useful. But otherwise... No. No, it's not useful. Ooh, look at these guys. They're like way more red than usual. They get your free flowers. No, yeah, let's fight them. I said, let's fight them. Are they still called Magnus? Yes, they are. Alright, so I had to guess Icy Snowman is gonna absolutely destroy them. Damn. Oh shit, they throw rocks? I didn't know they throw rocks. And they also attack multiple times. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fungus spike. Yikes. You know, I, I, I forget, are these guys still called Oilikins in the, in the remake? I kind of swore they changed it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> because they made some really arbitrary um, changes in the remake. Oh yeah, it's called Earth Spike. That's right. <laughs> the original name comes from the Oilikin 20 mm anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> I mean, it makes more honestly the uh, jet. It's more like accurate to the Japanese name because they're called it Unihei, which um, comes from sea urchin and. Sea Urchin Soldier and Spiny's Japanese name. Which, yeah, make, makes sense. <laughs> spiky. It's a variant of a Spiny. I always thought they were Spinies, but they're not. <laughs> they're, they're a completely different enemy. They're the cooler Spinies. Oh, bye, Peach. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, being, having an enemy named after a fucking aircraft gun is badass. And you can't top that. <laughs> oh, well, good, good thing we did, she did that, because now she got a level up. Also, that's really weird. She can't use it on herself if she's fully healed. Oh, look at that. These guys are orange now. Hey, look, it's the uh, Chain Kong. Fire Ant. That's a new name. I'm assuming Vomers are still, like, they still die in one hit? Yep. They're still the one enemy who has that. Oh man, Ice Blast is gonna sweep the hell out of this place. God damn. Mallow is too OP. <laughs> oh, and here's um our grind we're have we're gonna have our grind spot coming up in a minute here. Why am I getting these coins? They're kinda useless. Here it is. 
the last star in the game. And that's it. <laughs> Kind of hoping Peach learns, um, Peach learns a comeback soon. That'd be pretty nice. Well, you have Valor boost. Still don't know what that does, because it's red. And isn't Valor usually blue? That's what confuses me. He's immune. He's immune to jump. I guess that jump thing would have been useful after all. Cleave. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> They're just introducing, like, new stronger variations of moves. Do I have another flower tab? Yes, I do. I'm not sure I'll, I'll, I'll... I said, let's take the frog coin. Fuck. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Trust me, this is worth it. There we go. Yeah, you know, I think I'll fight. I, thought, I think I'll fight one of these enemies. Or not. Wow. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna fight them, but I guess they don't want to fight. Yeah, sure, I'll fight you. I feel like the Axum Rangers are gonna be actually, actually really tough. <laughs> they always seem to be really tough. Oh, okay, you have that attack. Yeah, the enemies in here are actually good. They're actually pretty tough, which is good. Alright, another icy snowman should kill. <laughs> Bye. It's kind of funny how the fire ant and the chain kong have, like... Similar amount of health. I just keep, just keep buffing Mallow's magic. Nothing else matters. Frog coin. Another frog coin. We're level 36 now. It's not bad, honestly. Alright, see how tough the stump it is. I'm curious, anyway. Yeah, those guys die really fast. Are you immune to jump still? You're not immune to jump. You know what? Hit him with lightning. You know, logically, you think a tree would be leaked to lightning, but... I don't know. Nah, he's weak. He's weak to, um... He's weak to... That backfire. <laughs> Remember when the fucking, um... What you call it? Remember when the... Uh, Artichokers <laughs> used backfire on me? That was funny. Oh yeah, that is... That's some good damage. That did fuck all. Yeah, the lazy shell is still good. Thankfully, I've come through this dungeon so many times that I'm just used to fighting all these enemies.
You know, I'm going to, um... You know what? Fuck it. We'll use a Star Caracola, because I have one. I'm using it just because I can. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what he was going to do there. I imagine, um, the Corkvidite has a lot of, um, health. <laughs> well, you can sure do migraine, that's for sure. No, nope, he's dead. There you go, just heal up a little bit. Oh, there's this shitty hitbox again. <laughs> gotta love that, gotta love that stump it. With the hitbox that goes out way too far. <laughs> I love how he does that attack. It's so funny. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping I can get um I'm hoping I can get everybody's ultimate weapons in Bowser's Keep. We'll see though. Because usually you have to do, like, two runs to get everything. Toadstool learns Wishing Star. Let's fucking go. We finally got a revive. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a revive. Revive an ally. For 12 FP? That's, that's nothing, bro. FP is not even a concern in this game. Haven't needed to use Moon Serenades at all. Yeah, every single enemy is just weak to ice in here. Oh, Mario's dead somehow? Okay. Not what I expected to happen. See, I'm just on, like, such an autopilot that, like, I'm not even thinking about healing. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess I probably should heal, huh? Although, if I can help it, I'd rather not, because I'm, like, right next to the end. Hino Mart. <laughs> Alright, what do you have? You have... Oh, yeah, that's right. Holy Water you can use against, um... You can use that against, uh, Zombone. And some interesting things happen. Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna sell all of these. <laughs> I might sell some of these, too. Power all. Oh yeah, I never used the shiny stone. I'll use that at some point. We'll sleep. Okay. Ooh, what's what's this shop gonna have? That's a good question. Because usually this shop's kind of mid. <laughs> Ma me mented vented suit. I thought that said mented. <laughs> okay, let's see. We also have metal spirit. Defense ten, magic defense ten, defense, defense and magic defense up. Null's thunder, weak to fire. You get a defense buff at the start of a battle. 
Who would that be good on? Maybe Mario? Or Peach? You know what? Let's give that to Peach. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. It's time we sold some of our old shit. Alright, Forest Cloak, you've made it through the game all the way with us, but we're, it's time we sold you. Yeah, I guess I'll keep all this stuff. I do not need the signal ring, though. <laughs> and I don't know if the vent... The vented suit's pretty terrible. <laughs> and the magmarizer. All stat... Sta all stat is 10. Null fire. I mean... This also gives me 10 to defense. And also gives me a defense buff, which I like. Oh uh, yeah, fuck it. I think I'm just gonna go with that. Alright. You know, I do kind of want to see what the Pyrospheres can do, because I haven't fought them yet. Oh, that is really fucking slow. Jesus Christ, I'm never fighting these guys again. Also, aren't these guys called, like, Lava Babbles or something in the remake? Something weird like that? 1100 damage. That's the first time I've ever seen quadruple digits. Oh, they're still alive. These, had, these guys had to have like 1500 health or something. Okay, he lived. Use another ice blast for good measure. <laughs> the fact that the that the pyrospheres have more health than the chain kong is kind of funny. Alright, uh, let's let's just heal up. There we go. Alright, Sar Dragon time. Let's see how this goes. Probably gonna go very easy because you know he's weak to ice. So yeah. This really is Mallow's game. Mallow's just getting all of the time to shine in this ROM hack. Let's see what Galaxy Blast can do him. The monster's mute. Okay, can I jump on him? Yes, I can. Well, just keep doing Icy Snowman. Who cares about how much health he has? Just keep doing it. should do. Just for extra insult to injury. Oh, he's doing the Helios. We need to get rid of those guys. Wait, they're still alive. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, please die. <laughs> Eleven hundred. They are not dead yet. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do a power all. The monsters mute. Can I please get rid of them? Uh oh. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um... I wasn't able to kill them for some reason. What the hell? Do they have a certain amount of health or something? I need to tattle them whenever I get the chance. Alright, well thankfully we can do Wishing Star. Well, we're at Mario's attack buff, I guess. How much health do these guys have? 1600. So I, I didn't do 1600 to them or something? Oh, it's really laggy. It gets really laggy once um, there's like that many enemies on screen. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that can happen too. The game will just like freeze for a long time. It has to register like, oh, yep, it's the next turn. Yeah, that lag is really messing me up. No! Okay, bye Mario. Bye Mario. Goodbye Mario. The monsters mute again. Well, who knows what hell, what what attack he's gonna do? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that phase is over. That was actually kind of hard. Zombone is a lot easier. Well, he might be. We'll see. That did nothing. <laughs> Why are like magic attacks just like way weaker in this? Anyways, let's see how much health he has. Nine thousand health. That is a lot. You know, in theory, you could um you could give the Axum Rangers like the most health in the game. That really does not do anything. Two oh six. I think Lazy Shell will do a bunch, though. Four fourteen, yeah. If any, if any boss fight could uh, benefit from having more health. It's definitely this one. Okay, we're just gonna pick on Mallow now, are we? Well, time to heal then. I mean, guess I'll use my holy water. That really does not do anything. <laughs> that is really disappointing. I mean, the holy water is funny, though. Oh no, he does bones. Um, actually, does sleepy time do anything? No, but it does do 283. Peach is fear, so we're gonna group hug.
He's gonna take a little while, <laughs> unfortunately. Especially if he keeps using fear. Okay, I saw it coming that time. <laughs> I keep getting freebies on the holy water. Alright, new challenge. Try to get rid of all your holy waters before the end of the fight. <laughs> That's gonna do quite a bit to Mario. Oh boy. sense that he uses bones. Honestly, I'm not sure why he doesn't use bones in the original. Yep, there we go. Alright, bye last holy water. You are really useless. I, I got a freebie again, damn it. I didn't want a freebie on the holy water. That's the complete opposite of what I'm trying to do. He missed. How do you miss hitting yourself? <laughs> He's still attacking. Alright, how much health do you have left, buddy? Five thousand. Still has a lot left. I should probably if anything, I probably need to give Mario his um his buffs back. Or, we can do a Galaxy Blast and see what that does. Let's see how- let's see if this helps. Mm, not really. The monster is mute. Okay, well at least he's muted, so that's good. Zack got a. Uh, he got fucking. Um, Plants vs. Zombies hybrid mode in English. That is that is definitely a pog. Oh, hell yeah, I need that. <laughs> I'm kind of in the mood to play more hybrid edition. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, you're mute. Man, muting muting a boss is like really broken. <laughs> I need to heal my FP soon though. Like probably this turn. Yeah, let's use the star egg. See, that's why I sold all my uh, mushrooms and, like, syrups and stuff, <laughs> because the star egg just does everything. I love how, like, out of nowhere the bombs come. Oh, is he not muted anymore? Do I need to use a Galaxy Blast or something?
<laughs> yeah, you can keep throwing bones all you want. It won't do it any good. Ooh. He's muted. I mean, if anything, I'll just use healing rain, because Mallow's the only one that really needs healing right now. Man, I need to pee after this boss. <laughs> We'll, we'll take a piss break before the Axum Rangers. I find it funny that Mallow's healing is better than Peach's. Look at that, 280. Great, after- R really bro, you're gonna do that now? Fear is like one of the most annoying- oh my god. Fear is like one of the most annoying fucking things in this hack, because it just makes the bosses take longer. And that's the last thing you want- you, the last thing you want is for the bosses to take longer. Christmas, man. How much longer are you gonna take, bro? You should have died like 10 turns ago. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> and he comes back with a third form? Imagine. Wow, 84 experience. That's actually really good. Pretty much a full level up right there. Okay. Well. Alright, it's Axum Rangers time. Probably one of the hardest fights in the game. I mean, this is gonna probably kick my ass. I mean, honestly, I should probably save, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> it's fine, I'll, I'll just make a save state, because I don't feel like going back... To go to the actual save point. I love how every single um. Oh my god! It's Axum Blue from Armageddon. I love how every hard mode hack just plays this fucking music everywhere. It's just the, um... It's like the typical music. Also, why did, why is this the second hack in a row I play that replaces Axum Green with Axum Blue? I don't know, is it it's supposed to be- is it supposed to be more faithful to the Super Sentai or something? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe just blue is just a nicer color, I don't know. Because, I mean, to be fair, it is the, uh, three primary colors. Alright, save time. Well, now it's playing, uh, now it's playing this music. music time. We'll see just how badly I can either annihilate them or get annihilated myself. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's not a great start. <laughs> but we're gonna galaxy bl actually no. Better idea would be to use the. Oh, wait, defense up is for only one. Why do I have a defense up and not a defense all? I don't know. Let's see just how badly I can annihilate them. And P. 
Peach is asleep now. I thought she was immune to effects. Oh, she got poisoned. And of course she has regenerate. <laughs> That's also bad. The, the monster's mute. Okay. You're not mute, though. Okay, uh, is there anything I can do to wake Peach up? I don't think so. I'm just gonna star egg and then power all. And that doesn't cure statuses either. <laughs> I like how everybody just throws rocks now, because why the hell not? You know, I'll do a defense up on Malo as well. Ooh, good thing that missed. Okay, and then, um, we'll do a power all. The monster is mute. Ah, oh, finally, Peach is back. Alright, let's just see how much Icy Snowman can do, because I know a couple of them are immune to snow, but we'll see. Oh yeah, Axum Blue is immune to snow. Makes sense, actually. And if I had to guess, Axum Red is immune to fire? Let me test that theory. Yes. But then blue is a, a weak to, to fire. <laughs> Definitely need the heal now. Peach is still gonna be on healing duty. <laughs> Especially because they're harassing Mallow right now. <laughs> I keep thinking it's gonna do damage to them, but then it heals me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> You know what I would love to see in a hack? I would love to see smart AI. <laughs> Where basically if the AI, like... Basically the AI will, like, use an attack on you. Like, let's say, let's say, um, you're immune to ice, right? And the boss uses an ice spell on you. Then if, if, like, you take zero damage, then he'll register like, Oh shit, they're immune to ice. And then he starts using, like, different moves or something. <laughs> now that would be cool, but... I don't know if it's possible to program something like that. Miss! All the Axum Rangers get like three turns each. <laughs> I love how Axe and Black throws rocks now instead of bombs. Everybody throws rocks now. There's something kind of funny about that. Mm, yeah, we can use Galaxy Blast. Why not? They're still kicking. Well, I don't know who's mute, but that's good. Good for me, anyway. Oh, he can still use bombs. Um, 
I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna use the Icy Snow, man, even though Mario's about to die. Probably a bad idea. How are they not going for Mario? I don't know, but I won't complain, because now I get to heal him. And somehow there's a fly in my room. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how these damn flies keep getting in here, but it's kind of annoying. You're gonna heal. Okay. Or at the very least, she's gonna try and heal. And Mario's asleep. That sucks. But never mind, he's awake again. <laughs> Good. He's immune to that. <laughs> oh shit, is Mario dead? No, he's, he's living. some good damage there. Sure, just keep attacking him, why don't you? Alright, we'll do therapy. Even though Peach's therapy isn't that great. It's not as great as Malo's uh, healing anyway. I need to check how much health she has left. Oh, my head's spinning. Wait, he died first. Axum, Axum Red never dies first. That's interesting. Seventy-eight? Really? She's almost she's almost dead already, huh? Seven. <laughs> she took seven of damage. Oh now she's using Petal Storm? Um well that's kind of a problem. At least we can get rid of Axe and Pink this turn, so that's something. Well, less Axums to worry about is good. I really should have bought some Shroom Juice then. These. The monster is mute. <laughs> Who knows what monster it is, but they're mute. Yeah, I really wish I- wait, does this heal statuses? Let's find out. Does not heal statuses. Boo. Oh. Lame. <laughs> that did one damage. Well, I mean... It's not going to make much of a difference, we're just going to keep using Galaxy Blast anyway. Alright, Black is out. Okay. You know what, let's just jump on Yellow. Wow, that did some good damage. Is Yellow weak to jump or something? Oh yeah, we can use Fire Blast now, since Red is out. All 
Alright. Yeah, spam fire blast. Yellow is out. Okay. We're, we're on the phase two now. <laughs> Are they gonna do the cool thing where the music changes? <laughs> nah. That's, a, that's an Armageddon thing. Although, to be honest, I probably should heal. Breaker cannon. We'll be fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Although, honestly, if he spams that every turn, I wouldn't be surprised. Imagine how threatening the blade will be if it just spams that every turn. Oh, it's actually called the blade. Good, they fixed that. <laughs> nope, he has to recharge. Oh, no. He's key. Okay, I might defend this time. Okay, never mind. It did the same amount. Is he weak? Isn't he weak to thunder? Yes, he is! <laughs> wow, okay. You know, we're gonna super jump for the hell of it. Nice. Okay, well, I don't have anything to worry about, then. <laughs> that 720 damage is really going places. the timing. If that's all he does, this is going to be a pretty easy fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Fire the stinger. That was not the right timing, either. No, I can't do smite now. Damn it. That still does really good damage, though. Alright, easier breaker than... Nope. That is not the timing either. I'm kind of half expecting him to pull out, like, some really OP version of the breaker beam or something. But he hasn't yet. This would be a really nice time to have something like, you know, Thunder Bombs, but those don't exist, sadly. I mean, hey, the 400 damage is still something. Nah. 
How are you not dead yet, bro? I'm doing like a thousand damage to you every turn. Drop that really early. <laughs> Okay, he's dead. <laughs> that was uh, pretty easy, actually. Yay! Hey, they actually give more than like seven experience this time. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, there they go. Jesus Christ, the flashing. So much flashing. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad they toned that down in the later re-releases, because good lord. As some guy said, there's nothing cool about flashing, like, flashing lights when bosses die. Which, yeah, I kind of agree with that. So there's not really much else we can do before we go to Bowser's Keep. But Bowser's Keep and the Factory are probably going to be their own episode. Which makes sense. We're at least going to do all of the preparation for that, though. And honestly, I don't know if, um... I don't know if I should do Great Guys Casino or not. I might do that off screen though. I love how I, love, I always loved how Mal just was like, oh yeah, the Axum Rangers, they took it away from us. Like like everybody knows who the Axum Rangers are. <laughs> Mal just expects everybody to know. It's time for you to take the bus. <laughs> You're old enough to ride on a vehicle of transportation. So the only other thing I can think of doing, maybe, is... Well, there's a few things I can think of. One, uh, I could fight the, um... I could get the frying pan for Peach. Second, I could, uh, try and fight Jinx now. Because I think I am ready to fight Jinx. Jinx won. Because <laughs> there's well, there's three Jinxes. We'll at least get Bowser's Keep opened up. Because that, that takes a little bit of time. It takes a few minutes. The Jugamu... We gotta take the Jugamu bus. Sad they removed that from the Switch remake. Alright, didn't they add, like, more NPCs here in the remake or something? I've always loved this little animation of just Mario, like, hopping off the cloud and going into the castle. Which, it's really weird they did not include that in the remake. I don't know why. But yeah. Oh, uh, you know, let's just get a feel of what the enemies in here are like. We got some, we got some terracottas. Which are always, I've always found really cool and underrated enemies. And we're they're starting off with that. Yeah, they're very they're very they're very aggressive. 
And for some reason, they make the Amanita noise. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. How many attacks do you have? Bro, ta bro attacked like 50 million times. <laughs> Might need to revive Peach, actually. Wow. Why are they- these guys are so aggressive, damn. Why? <laughs> Oh my god, they're not dead yet? Mario is dead. <laughs> Mallow is almost dead as well. Okay, he wasn't kidding when he said the end game was tough. the timing. Alright, let's get Mario back up. These guys these guys just attack every time I, I do a, an action, but bro, what the fuck? They are still alive. Oh my god. Alright, they all gotta do the, their Terra Punch first. Peach is fucking dead. Alright, we, we need to kill these guys. Hopefully an Icy Snowman is enough. That no? That's not enough still? Jesus. I might actually die at this point. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mallow's dead. Okay, maybe another icy snowman will do the trick. Please, I need to kill these guys. Okay. Wow, that was just the first loadout, and that was really fucking hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, bro. I got absolutely smoked. Hey, is there anything back in Mario's pad, by the way? I don't think so. But I'm asleep. Man, this is making me miss Armageddon, because Armageddon had so much, like, cool stuff. Um... Oh yeah, right, We're, we gotta get the frying pan. <laughs> Imagine if the frying pan's, like, 9,000 or something. Oh wow, look at how little items I have now. Yeah, let's buy some 1-ups. Lucky Jewel. Can I just get this guy's inventory, like, out of the way? Mystery Egg. There we go, Frying Pan. It's not called the Metal Plate anymore, at least. Wow, plus 60 attack. That's really good. That's a good increase. Alright. I guess I'll keep all this old stuff. Well, I mean, Peach has her ultimate weapon now, so that's good. Oh yeah, another thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go to, um... We're gonna go to Monster Town. And we're going to, uh... We're gonna open this up. We're going 
going to, um, I want to, I just wanted to get the shiny stone out of my inventory. Oh, it still is in my inventory. Best used with diamonds. Grants you a free lucky. Like, if I wanted that, if I wanted a free lucky, I would just, um... If I wanted a free lucky, I'd just, you know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I like how they're still worth their vanilla prices. I keep it, I mean... Well, no, because this turns into the lamb's lore, which I can just buy. Yeah. And you have, um... Shroom Ram. I'm gonna buy a couple of these, actually. I don't really know what else to put in my inventory, though. <laughs> Besides, like, one-ups. Alright, last thing we'll do is we're gonna try and beat Jinx this episode. At least Jinx won, because, yeah, he's kind of tough. So, I think this is my, uh, this is my armor. I mean, st Star Gear is pretty good. Yeah. If anything, I feel like I should put the star gear on Peach, but nah. Gino or Mallow can have it. I keep fucking getting Gino and Mallow mixed up. Why do I still get that mixed up to this day? Okay, at least she doesn't die instantly anymore. And also, I wish I had a power up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. I need to get a power. Uh, a power all real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, let me go do that real quick. Happy music. Actually, wait, I got a better idea. It, the Star Breeze... Boost all stats. Suddenly, these are just better, right? It heals everybody's HP by 200. So these are basically, um... These are basically Muku cookies, and they're also just group hug, but... You know, better. <laughs> and also, I could buy flower vases. I mean, I need something to spend my money on. There we go, 80 FP. Because we're gonna get a lot of, uh, a lot of money later. Money is, like, infinite in this game now. Like, I just keep getting to 9,000 coins without even trying. Alright, so now we have, we, now we have items that increase all of our stats. Which we just used at the start of the fight, so, yeah. Be pretty easy. If he's gonna start out with a triple kick, then I can just, or whatever move, I can just instantly heal that, and, um, yeah, just get all my stats up. There we go. So we know he has 12,500 health. That's not bad. I'm going to assume that I want- Oh, yeah, we, oh, we also have Cosmic Star. Let's use that. This is also like one of those infinite moves. You just kind of do it until you get sick of it. <laughs> I mean, does it actually increase in attack if you keep doing it? I don't know. 
there are 1300. Okay, maybe it does. Mallow's new best magic attack. And that's also good. Boom. I still take 113, though. Oh, I dropped it way too early, bro. What the hell? Okay, let's use the star egg, then. Clearly doing it wrong there. Ooh, okay. Alright, you know what? Let's see how long we can go, go for this. This is, this is going pretty well, isn't it? <laughs> Just how much can you keep this going? Is this literally an infinite move? Oh, I, I think I got capped. It did 1600, though. Wow. <laughs> There goes like a, you know, a tenth of his health already. Yeah, I'm, me I'm messing up the sewer jumps now. Should we do that again? By the way, I'm thinking maybe next week, or maybe even like at the start of September, I should finally do Puyo Puyo 4. <laughs> I've been waiting to play that game, but I've been too like into this game to play it. So, I think that might be a good idea, honestly. And if I also had an idea... Oh, kinda dropped it. I had an idea that maybe... Maybe I should um, play it with Dominic, too, when I actually beat it. Because I think that could also be fun. I forgot what the timing is now. <laughs> I can't get it all of a sudden. Alright, just for shits and giggles, let's see how much health he has left. Also, by the way, it's really funny. You never see two pages of special attacks normally, but since I did the skill swap, I actually do. <laughs> Which is really funny that they program that. Oh, he's almost dead, actually.
Okay, I'm getting the timing again. I was doing it way too early, that's what it was. Alright, so that's Vigor. See, why, did, why is Vigor and Valor boost swapped around? Is that intentional, or is that, like, just a weird thing? I don't know. This is so stupid that you can just do this infinitely. I'm kind of glad this got re replaced with like an actual like tolerable spell, where you just like give yourself like buffs and stuff and heal. One thing I am glad about in the remake though is they actually made Jinx like they actually made a move. <laughs> like, he doesn't just stand there awkwardly. So yeah, Vigor Boost actually increases defense. That's weird as hell. I dropped that really early. Nope, I'm not dying yet. I'm just keep he's gonna keep going. I think I'll probably what I'll do is I'll do Jinx 2 and 3 next time maybe. We'll do that we'll do Jinx 2 and 3 before we go fight Bower, I guess. Well, by go fight Bower, I mean go to Bower's castle and fight all the bosses there. New, new broken spell right here. <laughs> I don't remember if it was this broken in the original, but... Definitely up there. I love how it, like, shakes the ground every time. He's still alive. <laughs> It'll be really funny if he did like a move before he said like simply amazing. <laughs> he just he, he's like, oh, I'm dead, but here I'm gonna kill you or something. So that's Jinx 1. <laughs> that was just Jinx 1. So, yeah, Jinx 2 and 3 are gonna be, uh, kinda wild. Also, we could just see how bad Culex is. You know what? For shits and giggles, let's go get wrecked by Culex as well. Because, I mean, this is gonna be, uh... This I'm, this, I'm definitely gonna have to prepare for, because I know Culex is gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh. I don't outspeed him. 
Alright, I just want to see how much health he has. Um, uh, something, something thousand. <laughs> That's for sure. He has something, his health is in the thousands, we know that. Oh yeah, and he has that, um, that physical attack. I mean, there's only so much you can do, you know, by, by this point in the game. You're gonna keep spamming that. Oh, yes, everybody's favorite move, the gas press. I mean, honestly, this, this could be worse. Oh, there's Corona. <laughs> doesn't do any damage, though. Still doesn't do damage. <laughs> oh, you have Rock Slide? Okay. Oh, Mario's dead. Well, I mean... He's definitely a challenge. I want to see how much health he has in, uh, let me see, oof. <laughs> yeah, you know what, let me open up Lazy Shell and see just, you know what, he probably has max HP or something. Whatever the max HP is. Um, let me see. Uh, Lazy Shell up uh, updated edition. Yeah, just for shits and giggles, let's see how much health Kulex has. Like, how much he actually has. Oh my god! By the way... <laughs> the se the the second Jinx has 25,000 health. That is actually fucking crazy. Okay, where's Kulex at? Let me see. Culex only has 15,000. That doesn't really seem like much. <laughs> His attack and magic attack are also unchanged. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. What are the crystals? The crystals have a bit more, though. Crystals have, like, 7,500. Wait, do all of the crystals have the same amount of health? Oh, yeah, all the crystals have 7,500 health. Interesting. Alright. Well, I won't, um... I won't spoil myself on anything else, but... The, um... The enemies have a lot of health, let's just say, in the factory. I just looked at one of them. One of the enemies has 4,000 health. Why the fuck does he need that much? That's almost as much as the crystals. But okay. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, um, MarBG Masters. This game's getting a little more challenging. Just a bit. I mean, the Jinx fights are pretty, um... They're pretty tough. So we're gonna do those next time. But, uh, anyways. I will see you guys in the next episode, which... not sure when that'll be yet, I haven't figured that out. But we'll see. Alright, I'll see you guys then, take care.